This illustration deals with the use of isolated grounded receptacles in accordance with NEC 517.16. The purpose of change was to accept a new sentence. And this new sentence has been added to clarify the use of isolated receptacles outside the patient care area. It is the clear intent of this section that both grounding methods required in 517.13 be present in wiring methods used for isolated grounded receptacles. In addition, a separate equipment ground using a green insulated with a, we'll say it's uh, green with insulation and usually yellow stripes that identifies the isolation ground. And it shall be connected to the equipment grounding terminal of the isolated grounded receptacle terminal. terminal. Now, notice one thing. This receptacle is... Uh, uh, really not to be used in patient care areas because it, uh, it doesn't provide the redundant grounding that's required by 517.13. Now, let's kind of review the illustration and see what the, this re, uh, new sentence is trying to point out. Notice, look at, uh, let's reference the, the device box. And then right to the left of it, you have a, a green equipment grounding conductor pointing to the uh, green conductor in uh, the box that terminates to a screw there. That's your equipment grounding conductor. Now notice the isolation ground that comes in and connects to the green terminal on the receptacle is in addition to the equipment grounding conductor. Uh, so uh, when you review the receptacle itself, when we connect this equipment, uh, isolation equipment grinding conductor, usually green with yellow stripe uh, or stripes, notice it connects to that green screw that connects uh, to the U-ground. And then, of course, if you connect any kind of uh, uh, sensitive electronic piece of equipment to it, it grounds the enclosure of the sensitive electronic equipment, the metal there. Now notice the yoke. You have the 632 screw there, and the yoke is uh, in this type of receptacle is self-grounding. And you notice we state that. We show you the 632 screw, the arrow pointed to it, to the left, and we, and we point out it's a self-bonding type screw. And notice 250.146D as in dog, and 250.148 would give you uh, the rules and uh, regulations for this, as well as if you wanted to go in a greater uh, detail uh, description of such receptacles, uh, you could go to 406.3 and pick up the uh, subpart that deals with that. Now notice a lot of the existing uh, receptacles are just solid orange, as you see in the illustration. Uh, then some of the newer ones, instead of having to uh, gear up as a manufacturer uh, for yellow, for a, excuse me, a solid orange, they may have it gray with a little uh, triangle on it, as you see, uh, pointing arrow to it. It says orange color triangle defines isolation receptacle, and notice it's on an ivory uh, type receptacle. And this receptacle is outlined in 517.16, informational notes one and two, when it's installed and used in healthcare uh, type facilities. And of course, if we uh, review the isolation equipment grounding, uh, conductor is not connected to the receptacle frame. You see that pointing uh, to the uh, receptacle, the yoke, and so forth. And uh, we notice then that uh, uh, this provides the uh, isolation of the equipment connected to that receptacle, but it doesn't provide the redundant grounding required in section 5.17 for receptacles installed in uh, patient uh, care areas. 
Now, uh, that kind of, to me, kind of explains that. And uh, uh, don't get mixed up now with a GFCI in AFCI. If you deal with AFCI, you got to go to 210.12 and look at and reference C, and you know that kind of deals with uh, uh, AFCIs installed in dwelling units. Now, next, let's take a look at our notes and notice that the uh, note one at the very top of the illustration states this type of installation uh, is typical used for a reduction of electrical noise, uh, electrical magnetic uh, interference is necessary, and it uh, uh, parallels the grounding paths uh, or to avoid uh, a parallel path is uh, uh, outlined in 517.16 as well as in uh, uh, 517 uh, of the uh, NEC, but also you can uh, uh, read uh, this requirement in more detail if you go to NFPA 99 and review 6.3.2.2.5 uh, uh, uppercase A. Now, uh, if we review the note 2, which is right at the very bottom of the device box that housed the receptacle, and notice GFCI shall not defeat the grounding that is in, uh, required in detail in 517.13, as well as uh, NFPA 99.3.2.2.5, uppercase A, as outlined in 517.16. Uh, the Note 3 now uh, just uh, identifies that that receptacle might be ivory with an orange triangle on it instead of it being uh, completely orange. And the final Note 4 uh, talks about two equipment grounding paths must be provided by uh, 517.13, which this type of installation using an isolation receptacle will not provide. And then notice sometimes you might even have an orange non-metallic or metal plate uh, according to whatever the administration of the healthcare facility may demand uh, uh, also, instead of it being ivory with your orange triangle, it might be an orange plate. So review this section very careful and watch out uh, about it. Uh, uh, let me give you a warning by this section. These type receptacles are not permitted in your patient care areas uh, the, where those receptacles are required by uh, 517.13.18 and 19 as you go through the uh, Article 517 uh, to review these sections.